Good morning. Welcome to FAM Faith Announcements. Our BTAP Live altar is available at the 10 a.m. hour during our Sunday worship experience. If you're watching us beyond 10 a.m., please leave us a prayer request. Scripture tells us in Luke 18, 1, then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and never give up. You can also access the BJAP Live altar at 8 a.m. from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. at our daily dose of prayer. The access numbers are on your screen. Always pray and don't give up. If you have not experienced our FAM Faith Word Encounter Bible study on Wednesdays at 6 p.m., you are missing a phenomenal study and good old-fashioned fellowship. So come on and join us. Zoom with the whole family. The access numbers are on your screen. Now, if you want a deeper dive into the word from the FAM Faith Word Encounter, then join us for a Sabbath school on Saturdays at 10 a.m. The access numbers are on your screen. If you have not offered your anniversary offering of $177 for 177 years of Brown Chapel's faithfulness to its members and the community, you still have time to do so. Um, we will accept a donation via a PayPal, uh, Givelify, or Cash App, or you can do it the old-fashioned way. You can just put a check in an envelope and mail it, or you can actually put it in the Dropbox at the church. We sincerely thank you for being a blessing to the kingdom of God by your presence, by your participation, and by your donation. We thank you so much. And now join us for our family worship experience on this third Sunday of Advent. And then stick around for the gathering that immediately follows. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. family. Good to Glory see you. Glory be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, rejoice. and Hallelujah. be glad Hallelujah. in it. Hallelujah. That Praise word, be to God. That word means more to me today. Amen. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, because this is the Advent season, and on this third Sunday of Advent, our spiritual focus is J O Y Joy. Amen. Joy. Joy. Hallelujah. Glory so that scripture God. just is resonating in my spirit today. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the day that my Lord has made, and I will rejoice. And we invite you to rejoice with us today in Amen. worship. Hallelujah. Come on, let those spiritual joy bells ring. Amen. <laughs> Come on, put a smile in your spirit. Glory be to God, a praise <laughs> on your lips. As we get prepared this morning to go into worship, we're going to uh, begin with our call to worship. Amen. This is the second Sunday, which is our Mega Men and Virtuous Women Come Sunday. Come on, men. Come uh, on, women. So we're getting uh, ready to go forth. Glory be to yes. God. Uh, in our call to worship. And so we invite you to participate yeah. with us. Uh, in just a moment, you're going to see on your screen the words to our virtuous women and mega Amen. men call to worship. Hallelujah. And we want all of the men, hallelujah, hallelujah, and all of the women to participate because every one of you have been designed by God to be virtuous and mega. Hallelujah. And so just a moment, uh, Pastor Donald Phillips will lead us in this process. Come on, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Let us share together. Amen. Mega, mega men and, and virtuous, virtuous women, women, will you, you accept, accept God's call? call? 
We accept God's call to be living lights reflecting his glory. Mega men, who are you? We are men empowered by God for action to build his kingdom by his grace and for his glory. And mega and virtuous women, who are you? We are women empowered by God to transform hearts, hallelujah, and minds by his love. I'm a mega man and so are you. And I'm a virtuous woman and guess what? So are you. Together, together we stand, united as one body in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm thanking God today for all of the mega men and virtuous women who have gathered into this worship experience with us today. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Now let us prepare our hearts and minds just to join in to praise and worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. In our virtuous, vir virtual worship experience. <laughs> on, amen, Jesus. virtuous and virtual worship experience this morning. Yeah, listen, we have a treat in store for you. We want to engage you too. Yes. We want to invite you to engage in the worship experience. So we're doing a new thing. Come on. In just a moment on the screen, you are going to see some words. Hallelujah. Amen. Not a singer, but some words. Because guess what? You're the singer. Hallelujah. Amen. And so in this Advent season, we're singing all kinds of songs that remind our hearts about our, our love for God and his love for us. And our theme today is joy. Mm -hmm. So today we are singing joy, joy to, to the, the world. world. Now, Amen. I know most of us know that song, oh, right? Yeah. You may not know the words. Praise the Lord. That's what we're helping you all with the words, right? Uh, but you know the melody and you know the tune and so in just a moment we'll be blessed with an instrumental selection of joy to the world wor world and you'll see the words across your screen and we encourage you to sing praises Amen. unto god in your living room in your car wherever you are hallelujah, hallelujah. so join us for worship in a new thing hallelujah Bless God. Amen. I hope you enjoyed just singing, uh, whether you by yourself or with someone else, singing indeed joy God, to the world. We were all singing together. Come Hallelujah. On, come on, come I mean, on. now let's prepare our hearts and minds for a time uh, mm -hmm. of prayer to go before yes, the Lord in prayer. Yes. We praise God on this Mega Men and Versus Women Sunday uh, for some prayer warriors. Amen. Thank you, God. Uh, Thank and then you, after God. that, we will be blessed by a special prayer response uh, by uh, a friend, Sister Simone Cato, mm -hmm. uh, who will be singing the steadfast love of the Lord. Uh, never ceases. Amen. Allow this time to just center your heart and to bless you.
Dear Heavenly Father, our lives have been changed. Prepare our hearts to receive the Holy Spirit's guidance and direction in all we do. Lord, we want to serve you with passion, with the gifts that you have given me. Reignite the enthusiasm that I felt when I first began to serve you and to know you. Help me to forget about myself and to see only you. Help me to feel your presence within me. Set me on fire. Bless the community. Bless my church family. And we're going to pray for them and ask them to pray for us and watch you change things. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning thanking you, O Lord, for the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, now for just blessing us, that's watching over us and keeping us. O Lord, we know that we're going through a tumultuous and trying times at this moment. We ask you to keep us strong, keep our minds set on you, and keep our faith. We pray now, O Lord, for the men of Brown Chapel, the mega men. We ask you to watch over them, guide them, lead them, and us as we continue to walk in your path. O Lord, we ask you to just be with us as we go through this time again. We ask you to be with the ones that are taking care of the pandemic, the medication, the administering of the uh, vials of units. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you would touch them as they administer those things to us. We also, O oh Lord, ask you to bless our pastors, that they may continue to lead and guide us, that you would keep them strong and our faith strong in each other, that we will get through this in your name. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. New Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. They are new. Faithfulness, oh Lord, great is thy faithfulness, oh there new. So new every morning, great is thy faithfulness, oh Lord, great is thy Faithfulness. As we have shared, we are indeed uh, in our uh, third week of Advent. Yay. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Uh, and we really want to allow it to be again a, a blessing as we uh, remind ourselves about the Advent or the coming 
ex expectancy, waiting for Christ to come and to come again. Uh, and so this week we have a special blessing. Uh, we're going to have the Advent Spotlight by Reverend Mehmet Dolberry and Brother Gary Dolberry. We'll be sharing uh, our time of Advent and the Advent Spotlight. Amen. Come on, be blessed by them today. Good morning. I will be your liturgist for this, the third week Advent reading. I will pause when it is time for the congregation to respond. The Advent liturgy is on your screen. The people cried out for a prophet who would confront the stagnation in and out of the church walls. As we prepare for the waiting of Christ, we open our eyes to those young and old who also see new visions and act on them in the midst of racism, sexism, and other injustices. The prophets of old declare that God's reigndom is at hand and we must release God's power, justice, hope, love, light, and peace in this season of waiting for the re-revealed Christ, we all must become God's prophets. Amen. Joy, the third Sunday of Advent. There is so much sadness and depression of living during this season. Celebrations are overshadowed by the pandemic. Happiness has a backdrop of pain and fear. There are days when it's too much to see families in shelters, children learning from computer screens and persons with untreated mental health challenges have decreased support. Domestic violence is rampant, unemployment increasing, and our nation is split by politics. Yet, Yet in, in the, the face, face of sadness, sadness we, we light a candle of joy, for the Lord is come to bring great joy. Be not afraid, true joy is, is present. present. I light the candle of joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye.
praise the Lord, family. Hallelujah. Indeed, uh, God is worthy of our praise and our worship today. Uh, and it's time. It's time for the word. Amen. Uh, and so on this Virtuous Women and Mega, Mega Men Sunday, on this uh, third Sunday of the Advent season, hallelujah, uh, there is a word from heaven uh, that I choose to believe will touch, encourage, and heal our hearts. Amen. Amen. Uh, and so we will center ourselves in Christ and invite you to pray uh, with us, pray for us uh, as we prepare ourselves to Amen. Uh, be God's mouthpieces. Amen. Amen. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for uh, opportunity to declare your word, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, be a part of your plan. God, we mm -hmm. thank you for the opportunity to hear you, God, and to sense you and to share you, God, mm -hmm. even in this moment. Abba, we need you today. Abba and Father, he who sees us and sees the parts of us, God, our family, the kingdom, God, uh, that two are gathering in these moments, God, to hear from you, uh, to hear your heart, to experience uh, your complex but uh, intentional thoughts concerning us, God. Today, we need words. Yes, yes, we Lord. need your word. We need the word to embody our beings, to, to inhabit our minds, God, to, to feel and consume our hearts, God, to, to bring new life to our souls, God, and to nourish our spirits. We need word. Hallelujah. We mm. need the living word yes, uh, to come and be made manifest in these moments. And so we thank you today, God, that as we ask, seek, and knock on heaven's doors, you are Abba, he who opens the door and pours out yourself. Hallelujah. So in these moments, we thank you for the coming. Hallelujah of your spirit. We thank you for the coming. Hallelujah of your word. We thank you for the coming. Hallelujah of our transformation uh, that you desire to make us more like you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, as we just prepare to share the word today, uh, just to share that how God has been connecting uh, the parts of ministry together, uh, mm -hmm. even as we've been praying in Advent season, uh, just been hearing about how God indeed uh, is a gift giver. Isn't that mm -hmm. true? Amen. He's the one who is the giver of gifts. In this season, we celebrate certainly the greatest gift uh, of all time, which is Jesus Christ and his birth. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so as God just reveals God's self mm -hmm. uh, to us and in the various ways he expresses himself, uh, today the word just declares that we're talking about the gift of the word. Mm. Amen. The <laughs> gift of Thank of the you. word Thank and that's why we have Thank a reason you. to rejoice hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen, amen. Mm -hmm. praise the lord well um i'm grateful uh because we have uh, as a family as a ministry i uh, just been growing in this season to mm -hmm. understand that gifting process uh, i'll just be transparent uh we're trying to train and teach our children that christmas is not about getting hallelujah amen. maybe amen. some parents some grandparents out there who can amen us <laughs> right about that it is not about getting uh but it's about giving and so i was just grateful uh, to hear the heart of pastor phillips as the holy spirit spoke to him uh to kind of read direct our thinking mm -hmm. uh, to the concept of not getting, hallelujah, mm -hmm. but giving, and not on a, on a natural sense, but on a spiritual sense. And so as we've been moving through the word encounter, yeah. uh, we've been hearing about the gifts that God has given. Uh, and as pastor said today, the gift that uh, we are grateful to receive hallelujah. today is the word, hallelujah. Uh, and so today we got a reason to rejoice family, mm -hmm. hallelujah. And the reason that we rejoice today is because God has given the gift of his word. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I didn't forget, hallelujah, that this is the third uh, Sunday in the Advent season, and our focus is joy. joy. God didn't forget, because the Holy Spirit and him wrapped this thing together, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I want you to type in your screens J-O-Y, joy, hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh, and so, as I was growing in my understanding of the word joy, I was reminded that joy is a noun, right? Mm. Uh, it, it, it is an emotion. It's emotion. Uh, and it's an emotion 
emotion evoked by a sense of well-being. Hallelujah. A sense of uh, finding yourself in a position of success. Uh, 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 emotion evoked by uh, feeling blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, and so today I want to remind us that joy is an emotion, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but the term rejoice is is a verb it's an right. action word and rejoice really is defining what um god helped me to understand as an experience mm. come on right uh, so i was excited about that understanding right it's one thing to have an emotion oh, come on but god is calling us not to just uh, abide and experience joy at a mental or emotional level but to have an experience experience mm. of joy come on anybody want to experience Glory joy to God. Amen. that experience uh is is what we call rejoicing right and it's the experience of great pleasure or delight right mm. and so as we continue to press into god and press into the gift of his Hallelujah. word uh, we are believing in faith that god is transitioning us just from uh having joy to actually having the experience hallelujah mm. and rejoicing uh, and today again we're rejoicing in the word uh in my homework hallelujah in my word homework yes. uh, i looked up the word joy uh and i was blessed to find out that uh the word joy in hebrew is translated samach samach right uh, and that word itself uh, means joy. There's mm. another term uh, in the in the um, Hebrew language that means sasun. Uh, and and if we're looking at scripture uh, in the Hebrew translation, uh, my research showed me that there are 400 entries of that word joy or the translation shemach or sasun in scripture. Somebody say 400. Amen. And that's a lot of talking in the word that's about right. joy. Uh, that means because that means that God didn't want us to miss it. Hallelujah. And I think that's relevant in this season, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I, I cannot ignore what's happening in the world around us, mm -hmm. right? Uh, with the uh, political unrest and the mm -hmm. pandemic that uh, right. is just perpetrating Jesus. our minds and our hearts in this season. If there's ever been a time where we've needed uh, the, the evidence and the experience of joy, mm -hmm. uh, it's now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, and so Samach and Sassoon are found in scripture. Mm -hmm. Now, as I kept digging, right? I I learned that Samach actually is attached to a religious holiday in the Jewish faith, and it's Shemach Torah, right? Now, that mm. holiday really means rejoicing of the Torah, right? Now, the Torah, come on, come is on. the word, right. right? It's specifically the Hebrew Bible. It's specifically the first five books mm -hmm. of the Bible that we study, right? Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, and so what I found is that in faith, come on, in the body of faith, there is a holiday, come on, that's rejoicing in the word. Mm -hmm. There's a holiday that sees the value in the word mm -hmm. and the whole whole point of the holiday oh is to rejoice Joy over the creation and the gifting of the word. So in the Jewish faith, uh, this holiday, Shemach Torah, commemorates the completion of reading the Torah. Mm -hmm. Come on. During the year, for 52 right. weeks, they are reading the entire Torah. And at the end of the process, they celebrate. At the end of the process, they rejoice. Mm -hmm. That's good news. And God didn't want us to miss Hallelujah. it. Well, what's the Torah? What's the word? Well, it really is instruction the word Torah in Hebrew translates to the word instruction. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful for the comprehensive nature of our God because he doesn't just tell us we can have joy. He doesn't just tell us that we can have the experience of joy, which mm -hmm. is to rejoice. He gives us instruction, hallelujah, hallelujah, about how to do that. He finds this, he gives us instruction about how to find our way through the challenges and the stressors of life right to the heart of his. And in his mm -hmm. heart is joy, hallelujah. And his heart is the gift of that emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. So Torah is instruction. And today we choose to believe, hallelujah, that God wants to give us the word, come the on word Jesus, his word as instructions to show, to direct us in how to find him, how to find joy in the gift of his word. Come on somebody. Yeah. So let's go to the word. Come on. Let's go to the word and find his heart. Amen. Hallelujah. And John, Hallelujah. in the gospel of John chapter one, mm -hmm. we'll find ourselves chapter one, verses one through nine. Mm -hmm. Let us just hear how 
uh, the Word and then talks about the Word. Mm -hmm. In the New Living Translation, it reads like this, In the beginning, the Word already existed. Mm -hmm. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Yes. He existed in the beginning <laughs> with God. God created everything through Him mm -hmm. and nothing was created except through Him. Jesus. The Word gave life everything that was created Hallelujah. and his life brought light to everyone Jesus. the light shined in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish mm -hmm. it God sent a man John the Baptist to tell about the light so that everyone might believe because of his testimony mm -hmm. John himself was not the light he was simply a witness to tell about the light Jesus. the one who is the true light who gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm giddy, almost like a child mm. on Christmas Eve as I was hearing Pastor read the word uh, because as I was studying this word, I just... Uh, felt the experience of life and joy mm -hmm. kind of well up on right. the inside of me. Every time I read this text, it, it comes to life in mm -hmm. me and it comes to life to my mind space. And so uh, please excuse me because I'm, I'm going to share with you all as I read this same scripture, what God helped us see, mm -hmm. what God helped us see, how God helped uh, remind us that his word is a gift. Yeah. His word is the gift. And that's the the reason why we're rejoicing today right. hallelujah and this word uh, has some characteristics mm -hmm. hallelujah and i'm believing faith for the holy spirit to help us illuminate those characteristics again john 1 and 1 through 9 says in the beginning the word already existed mm -hmm. that's telling us that the word come on the word is eternal come mm -hmm. on it says the word was with god come on that mm -hmm. means that the word is relational come it was on, in relation relationship with God and the word was God wait Hallelujah. hold on time out yes the word is eternal relational and it's also divine mm. hallelujah that's good news somebody Amen. he wait a minute he I thought we were talking about the word uh-huh the scripture says he because it's giving a male persona hallelujah to the identity of that's the right. word which is letting us know that this word is not just a, 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 a an in thing it's living and yes, breathing Lord. and it has a male persona mm. matter of fact it's made in the image and likeness of God himself Amen. hallelujah Preach. it says that God he existed in the beginning with the word so this word is eternal and it's relational mm. and it's divine hallelujah and it is made in the image and likeness of God this word also God created everything through him mm -hmm. Everything through him and nothing was created except through him. Mm. What that scripture tells us, come on, is that this word, the word, in their divinity and their male persona had an exclusive purpose, purpose. which means that nobody else could do what this word did. Amen. Hallelujah. Nobody else had the capacity to create. Come on, Jesus. Mm. Things out of nothing. Hallelujah. Come on. Nobody else had the capacity Jeez. to Hallelujah. not just create some stuff, but to give life Jeez. to the stuff. He, he gave life. He created, and then mm. he gave the creation life. Mm. Hallelujah. Nobody else had the capacity to create, to give life, and then bring light. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. To those who he created. I'm so grateful that the word continues. As mm. Pastor said, the light shines in darkness darkness yes. hallelujah the word gave light to everything that was created and his life brought light to everyone mm -hmm. and the light shines in the darkness mm -hmm. come on that's good news today right. because we're surrounded by some darknesses darkness. in the world that we're a part of we're surrounded by some darknesses that come look on. like racism come on mm -hmm. we're surrounded by some darkness that feels like sexism come on mm -hmm. we're surrounded by some darkness that looks like death death and disease in this season we need a light that can shine in the darkness yes. and the darkness can never extinguish it mm. never extinguish it what that means hallelujah. is that this light hallelujah has an unstoppable power hallelujah. hallelujah not only is it eternal not only is the word relational not only does this word have a male persona and yes. divine this word has an exclusive purpose and an unstoppable power yes, darkness can can't defeat it. Mm. Hallelujah. No matter how dark the situation right. looks, Hallelujah. no matter how 
heavy the situation Ooh. feels, Ooh, good to news God. today. We can rejoice, family, because we've been given the gift of the word. Mm. And that word has unstoppable power. Hallelujah. Mm. It says mm. that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish mm. it. Isn't it so good to know, good to understand and good to see that it is in darkness that God does mm. wonderful work. It's good to know, amen, that darkness is the atmosphere in which God does an amazing thing. Mm. Hallelujah. That cannot on, be hit. Jesus. It is in the midst of darkness. I, I'm encouraged by mm. that because sometimes we can be so consumed by the mm. darkness around mm. us, whether it be mm. external or whether it be internal, amen, mm. that can cause us to go down, to look down, to be down. Hallelujah. But I'm encouraged that in the midst of darkness, God does some amazing work. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm in the so midst excited. of darkness, God forms, God moves, God mm. speaks. In the midst of darkness, God, Jesus. hallelujah, shines light. Hallelujah. 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 We're, mm. we're continuing to grow in our understanding of the characteristics yes. and the identity Glory of the to word, God. right? Because that's the gift hallelujah. we're talking about, the word. So we've learned, yes, it's eternal, it's relational, it's mm. divine, it has a male persona in the image mm. and likeness of God himself. It has an exclusive purpose and an unstoppable power, but scripture makes it even more specific. Ha, I love mm. the word of God. It makes it even more specific who this word is. It says God sent a man and that man's name was John the Baptist and he sent the man to tell about the light so that everyone might believe yes. because of John's testimony. He wanted to be clear. The scripture wanted to be clear. John was not the light, right? right? The light, the word that we're talking about, the life that we're talking about mm. is not John the Baptist. They wanted to make mm. it clear. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to the light. He simply wanted wanted everybody to know that the light was coming. He, mm -hmm. he simply didn't want any other people to right. miss the sight of the light, to miss the power of the light, to miss the light in the light. John was mm -hmm. sent as a witness. And the scripture says that the one who is the true light, who gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Mm. Now we set you up. Hallelujah. Mm, right. God set us up with his word today to make it clear to us who the word is. Mm. And in case you don't know, I don't want you to miss it. The word, hallelujah, yeah. the light, hallelujah, yeah. the light is Jesus Christ. Jesus. This scripture was speaking to the coming, hallelujah, Advent season of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ himself. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful today that we get to be reminded that mm. we have been given the gift of the word who is Jesus mm. Christ, who is life and who brings life. Mm. That's a reason for us to rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I went on in the studying process about this term joy and Samson and Shemot, God reminded us that there are over a hundred references to this term joy in the scripture. And the first time that it's mentioned in the New Testament is coupled with the birth of Jesus yes, Christ. Jesus spoke about the truth of his spirit and his word mm. in the Old and the New Testament. And so we find joy right here. We find Shema right here. We find Sassoon right here speaking to Jesus. Mm. Speaking of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. And so what we hear here is in Matthew 2 and 10 it says when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceedingly great, great joy. joy. And today we didn't forget that it is virtuous women and mega men Mm -hmm. Because the truth of the matter is that God used a virtuous woman named mm -hmm. Mary, hallelujah, mm -hmm. and a mega man named Joseph mm -hmm. to remind mm -hmm. us that he was giving us the gift mm -hmm. of his word. He was giving us the gift of himself mm -hmm. in human form. He was giving us the gift of a mm -hmm. savior in the personhood mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. hallelujah. And in the giving of the gift, the awesome thing is that it is gift and he is the gift that keeps mm -hmm. on giving. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Christ is the word, but he is yes. the word that brings so much with mm -hmm. him. Glory be to God. Thank you, we recognize, number one, that the word brings light. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The word brings <laughs> light. He is the word that brought light 
in the very beginning, mm -hmm, John mm -hmm. connects us with Genesis yes. when God said in the spirit of the Lord hovered over the face of the waters Jesus. in the midst of darkness, in the midst of chaos, mm -hmm. in the midst of uncertainty. Come and God on. said, come let on. there be come light. On. Glory come be on. to God. Come come and at the speaking of light, order begins to come into the world. Jesus. Thank you, God, that the word brings mm -hmm. light. Hallelujah. Light. The word Hallelujah. brings light. The word brings light. And as God speaks to you, his word mm -hmm. will bring light in the come chaos of of your life. Come His word Jesus. will Come bring on. light in the dark Hallelujah. places of our hearts and our minds. His word brings light. light. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Not only does his word bring light, but his word also brings mm -hmm. life. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. John said that he says he was bringing life to the world. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But mm -hmm. as we stand now in the midst of Advent at the birth telling Hallelujah. of the story of Christ, we Hallelujah. see that the word is bringing life mm -hmm. time and time again. <laughs> yes, in Jesus. But even before we get there, uh -huh. the Bible says that an angel, Gabriel, shows up to, to two other persons, another man and another, another woman. Another uh, mega Hallelujah. man and another John, glory woman. be to God, and his wife, Elizabeth. And the angel shows up to John in the temple. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. And while he's serving and begins to tell him, guess what? I've got a word for you. Hallelujah. i got a word that your wife who is Jesus. barren is going to produce life. Hallelujah. Life. I, life. I've got a word that your wife who could have no children, who could have no birth out of her womb is going to produce life, life. because God said so. Hallelujah. John couldn't even believe it. John couldn't even wrap his mind around it. How in the world is this going to happen? He says God's going to do it. Amen. But just, just so you don't mess it up. This is how I see it. You're not going to be able to speak, John, until God allows this thing to happen. Word. Hallelujah. Word. Hallelujah. Word. And that's important, family. Mm. We, we have to mm. recognize that we were made in the image right. and likeness of God. Mm. And so Thank that you, creative, life-giving power that Jesus mm. had, guess what? We have it. Mm. And we have to be careful, careful with what we do with our words. Mm. Come on, because oh, our yeah. mouths are, 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 are channels, come on, that mm. have the supernatural capacity to produce life or death. Mm. And we have to be careful because we were divinely designed by God to create light. Come on. To oh, release Jesus. light. Come on. But the truth of the matter is that we also have the capacity to mess that up. Mm. And what Pastor was illuminating is that God, come on, didn't want him oh, to mess it up. That's right, he didn't man. want John to mess up the thing of life and the, the gift of life that God was seeking to cultivate. Oh, and so sometimes I have to remind myself that if I'm tempted not to speak life, to just shut up. My God. Come on, Jesus. If, if life is not what's going to be poured from this vessel, oh, guess man. what? Shut it down. Mm. Shut the mouth so that we're not interfering. Mm. Come on. Oh, Come man. on. Interfering with what it is that God is Hallelujah. seeking to do in us and seeking to do for us and mm -hmm. seeking to do through us. Remember, sisters and brothers, we have the power. We have creative power, God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And in so we mouth. have to make sure that what we're producing Hallelujah. looks like God. What we're saying, come on, looks like God. Mm -hmm. We're creating, come mm -hmm. on, looks come on. and sounds like the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Come on, Jesus. So just so you know, I'm not making this thing up. Mm -hmm. Even my followers should read it for yourself. Yes. Luke, Luke 1, verse uh, 18 and 19, as uh as Zechariah, amen, excuse me, as Zechariah is having a conversation ah, yeah. uh, with the angel, amen, as Zechariah is hearing God, yeah. Zechariah said to the angel, how can I be sure that this will happen? Amen. Yeah. The angel's already told him it's going to happen. Uh, I am an old man now, and my wife is also well along mm -hmm. in years. And then the angel said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the very presence of God. It was he who sent me to bring you this good news. Mm -hmm. Amen. But now, since you didn't believe what I said, you will be silent and unable to speak until the child is born. For my words will certainly be fulfilled at the proper time. Amen. Understand that God's word, glory be to God, brings life. And though we were created in the image of likeness of God, as Pastor Talia shared, we have to be careful that our words don't mess it up. Jesus. Amen. He speaks life to us, and we need to learn how to speak in agreement with his word yeah. or don't say anything at all. Oh, my yeah. God. Amen. So I just, I just heard, you know, the Spirit saying, you mm. know, God is not a man that he should lie. Mm. 
and he makes promises. That's right. And God will protect his promises. That's right. God will do whatever he needs to mm. do to protect his promises. And we that's what we witnessed here, mm. right? He he didn't want Zechariah's unbelief, come mm. on, to, to jeopardize that's the right. manifestation of his promises. And mm. so I just had a self-reflective moment. Come on. Uh, and I had to I had to say to myself and say to you, sisters and brothers, I want you to do a self-check. Mm. I, I want you to pay attention to, to your life situation right now. And I want you to ask yourself, uh, are, are there some things that I'm saying? Uh, are there some things that I'm doing uh, that God is saying, I got to protect my promise mm, to them Jesus. from them? Come on. Mm. Uh, are there some things that we're saying? Are there some concepts that we're believing, some mm. untruths? that we're harboring in our minds and hearts. Uh, and God is saying, I, I, I need to protect my promise mm, from my sons Jesus. and daughters. We, we, we don't want to have to have God protect mm. his promises from us. Come mm, on, because come on. he desires to release his promises in and through us. And so just encouraging us, hallelujah, Abba, Holy Spirit, mm. we know who you are. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that if we in any way, shape, or form are, are standing Jesus. in opposition or or or, or, or mm. being hindrances yeah. to, the, to the flow of your truth, to the flow of your promises, God. We pray, God, that you would help us move ourselves out of the way, yes, move our flesh out of the way, God, move our hindering humanity out of the way, God. We pray now, God, mm. that there yeah. be any relationship dynamic, if there be any unforgiveness, God, Jesus. if there be any, any fear, God, if there be anything in these spaces, mm -hmm. God, within us, God, that you would help us move oh, any yeah. hindrance out of the way of, of you being you in us and releasing life through us, God. We pray now, God, mm -hmm. Abba, hallelujah, you, you, do your work, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. in us, God, in us. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 This word, thank you. Amen. In that prophetic moment, just to speak to where uh, many of us are. Amen. Mm. This word, uh, this word brings light mm. and this word illuminates truth. Mm -hmm. This word brings life. Hallelujah. I mean, don't we even in the natural, don't mm. we rejoice over praise God and ought we to be rejoicing over new life. Mm -hmm. Amen. I think yeah. about people giving baby showers. Amen. Right. And, and having uh, reveal parties. Yeah. Amen. And, and sharing with the world and rejoicing uh, what God is doing. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. How I always say children are always a blessing from the Lord. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so his word brings light yeah. and his word, glory, glory to God brings life. Yeah. We see the life spoken glory to God to Elizabeth and Zechariah. We see them rejoicing over the birth of John when God told the name that baby John and then we yeah. see the same angel hallelujah Gabriel oh, speaking to Mary amen yeah. and finding her letting her that she is favored among women and Absolutely. telling her God God has found his favor upon her and mm -hmm. her asking the angel how in the world how how this how these things shall be and how he mm -hmm. said the Holy Spirit shall come upon you glory be to Jesus. God and this thing that you're going to birth shall be called this child shall be called the son of God hallelujah, hallelujah. and Mary responds I'm the Lord's servant <laughs> amen <laughs> If you say it, hallelujah, I'm the Lord's servant. May, so. may everything you have said, everything. hear that word, everything you have said about me come true. Hallelujah. That's powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Mary says, may everything you said about me, everything. God, let it come true. Hallelujah. God, let and let us pray, let us pray that same mindset, hallelujah. that same thought. God, everything you've spoken over my life, God, hallelujah. have it come to pass. God, hallelujah. even though I don't always understand it, I don't always Jesus. know how everything. it's going to happen. God, let everything, every, every, every blessing, God, every promise. Every God, promise, every, every transformation, truth. God, hallelujah, every Jesus. every healing, let everything you've said hallelujah, about me, God, hallelujah. come true. Glory hallelujah. be to God. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. The word brings you, life. And <laughs> last but not least, praise God. We see the word brings joy. joy. Uh, uh, Pastor Leah talked about a joy and and rejoicing. Mm -hmm. And I like to think about rejoicing as being able to have joy all over again. I, uh, I like yes. to think about, about, re, about, re, I can re, amen, that re. I have joy and <laughs> and knowing and joy, even yes. in this season and the hope of Christ, the good news that every advent, I, I can yes. rejoice because rejoice. I, I can remember, remember and celebrate all over yeah, again. Repeat. 
the Come amazing on. thing that, that God does. And as the word brings joy in that same ah, book of Luke. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. In the same place. Hallelujah. Amen. Just hearing that read that remix. Mm, that remix hallelujah. on joy. Praise the Lord. And just hearing God in the spirit mm. sing. Uh, our read to our joy. Come on. Is to, to, to remember. Mm. Come on. To yeah. remember the ways that Thank he you, has Jesus. made. To remember the promises that he has kept. To mm. remember the doors that he has opened. To remember the healing that he has provided. But also to repeat it. Right. Mm. To rehearse it. To fix our mouths. Mm. To be his witnesses. That's what scripture yes. told us about. John. John was sent to be a witness to the light. And that's exactly what we have been called and sent to be. To be witnesses, witnesses. to the light, to the word, to the mm. light. Come on, that the word brings. And so today, sisters and brothers, your, your homework assignment is to mm, remix the joy hallelujah. in your life. Remember, hallelujah, the things that have evoked this experience mm. of joy in your life that God mm. has done. And to rehearse it. Come on. Mm. To repeat it. I want you to remember and release it. Come Come on, remember and release it. I want you to testify through your social media platforms. I want you to testify through your cell phone and send a text message. I want you to testify through the technological airwaves and call somebody and remind them about how good yeah. God is and how great God has been in your life. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. We're going to remix the joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to remember and mm. rehearse, remember and repeat, remember and release. Mm. Hallelujah. And, Hallelujah. And there's power, amen, in, in rejoicing mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. There's power yes. in coming into community and communion mm -hmm. and celebrating. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Together. together. I, I, as I was hearing and, and seeing the text in Luke, the scripture says that as Elizabeth was about, was, hallelujah, yes. six six months into her pregnancy and, Come on. and yes. while she had a baby brewing, a blessing, a brewing in her womb, growing, hallelujah, that her, her cousin, her cousin Mary stopped by, hallelujah. God knew what he was doing. Hallelujah. Her cousin sister Mary, friend. her sister friend stopped by and <laughs> And when and when and when Mary greeted Elizabeth, the something baby, happened. Hallelujah! The, the baby um, rejoiced. Uh, Elizabeth begins to say, "Look, Mary, when you greeted me, the child leaped in Leap. my womb. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. When you Rejoice. greeted me, I was filled. The Bible says she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! She Word. says, and she declares here. She declares. She says, "When I heard your greeting, the baby in my womb jumped." For Come joy. On. For joy. Hallelujah. You, hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> she said, you are She's blessed. Contagious. You are blessed because you believe that the Lord yes. would do what he said. Amen. Hallelujah. You hear hallelujah. that? You are blessed because you have mm. believed that God would do what it says. Jesus. Elizabeth says, look, I, I, I I can recognize it. Amen. I, I can see it because I remember the joy when, when I got pregnant. Hallelujah. Jesus. And and now I'm hearing your voice and mm. my womb is leaping and, and that baby that, that was going to testify about your baby is leaping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Being in the presence because we can rejoice Come together. On, Jesus. Mm. That joy process is contagious. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we as we remember, come on, Jesus, as we as we repeat and rehearse and release it, understand that, that your joy is contagious. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Your your joy, Thank your your you, confession Jesus. of, of mm. the joy that God has given yeah. you despite circumstances and pandemics Hallelujah. and job losses and Hallelujah. death and grief. Your joy is gonna help somebody else. Come Hallelujah. on, leap for joy. Your your joy is gonna to activate. Mm, Come on, Jesus. The, the joy in yes, somebody else's life. And remember, this joy we're talking about is not based on circumstances. Mm. Come on. It's not based on the economy. Right. It's not based on who's in the White House. Mm. The joy we're talking about yes. has everything to do with the author Hallelujah. of it, who is Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. So today, we want you to recognize the power that the Word has released Hallelujah. in you. The power of the Word. The power yes. that Christ Himself is releasing through you hallelujah i'm going to share with you the good news today amen about this gift of the word the good news is that joy is coming <laughs> joy to the world the hallelujah. world has come and i i want to go is one step further the good news is not just that joy is coming joy has come and so what that means yes. for us is the good news is that rejoicing is coming mm -hmm. hallelujah. hallelujah the good news amen is that because christ has already mm -hmm. come Thank Glory be God. to God. He promises to show up again and again. Mm -hmm. And he has deposited his spirit, hallelujah, mm -hmm. in you so it can be, you can be reminded by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be reminded by the Holy Spirit in each other mm -hmm. how faithful, faithful God is. God, we thank you. Hmm. God, Weeping. Thank you. It says may endure for a night, but 
joy is coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. Joy <laughs> is coming. So <sighs> just I want to I just hear God saying, speaking a word to someone who right now mm -hmm. is going through mm -hmm. a trying time, going through a dark mm -hmm. moment. Amen. Going through feeling mm -hmm. separated, God, feeling mm -hmm. Divided, whether it be feeling depressed, and we can call it what it is, but mm -hmm. of feeling the loss of a loved one, Jesus. amen, and, and, and you're not able to feel the way you would want to feel in this season. God says, joy as you turn to Him, hallelujah, that your joy hallelujah. is coming. Why? Because it's not based on other folks. This joy that we have, the world didn't give it, mm -hmm. comes from Him, hallelujah. Joy is coming. Comes from His word and His promise to you. And just like Elizabeth and just like to Mary, God is faithful to his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we just declare in the name of Jesus, God, that everything you have said, mm -hmm. your promises about your joy, God, we receive it in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And for those, mm -hmm. amen. Hallelujah. Just, uh, just pray. Hallelujah. God, we just thank you for the gift today. The gift of your word. Hallelujah. Yes, and how it has the capacity to supernaturally resonate. Hallelujah. Resonate with our minds and our hearts and our spirits and our souls. And so, Abba, I, I thank you today that you have a heart's desire to, to restore yes, joy God, restore. in the hearts of your sons and daughters, God. And so I pray now, God, for our sisters and brothers, God, who need that experience hallelujah not just joy but the experience of rejoicing god we pray god that you would allow it to be a comprehensive experience that consumes hallelujah every area of their life that is contrary to joy contrary to them being well hallelujah that's what joy is it's an emotional sense of well-being god so we pray that the joy the power hallelujah the the the, the unstable Unstoppable power of yes, your God. word, God, would consume everything mm -hmm. in their life spaces that is contrary to your experience of well-being. Hallelujah. Consume sickness in the name of Jesus. Consume a, a mental uh, turmoil in the name of Jesus. Consume anxiety. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Consume weariness and fatigue. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Consume fear. Yeah. Hallelujah. That your experience, hallelujah, of joy and rejoicing would consume any and everything that is contrary mm -hmm. to your promise of their well be amen. in Jesus name. Amen. amen. Listen, if you are with us now, amen. I'm just believing. I believe. I just know the word doesn't return void. It accomplishes exactly. Thank he accomplishes you. exactly the purpose he planned even word. for your life. And the word declares that he wishes that no one should perish. Amen. Mm. That everyone would be redeemed, but have a relationship yes. with the father. Amen. Jesus Christ declared, I am the way, mm. the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. Life. No one come to the Father but by me. Right now, look, the, mm -hmm. the call-in line, the prayer line is, mm -hmm. is available, is open for those who are with us right now on this 10 a.m. hour on a Sunday. I mean, you can call right now. They will pray with you. Mm, yes. Hallelujah. Agree Encourage with you. you. Encourage you in the name of Jesus. I mean, yes, if you need to be saved, you want a relationship. Absolutely. Hallelujah. We will pray right now. We'll pray with you for your right relationship. Amen. Mm -hmm. The word says anyone who calls in the name of the Lord shall be, shall be saved. Mm -hmm. It's there for the asking. Amen. It's a gift that Jesus paid for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But even if you're already a believer, but you just want someone to pray with you, now is the time to reconnect, God. Amen. Amen. To be encouraged again. Glory be to God. To hope again. Now is that time. Glory be to God. Thank you, Al. Hallelujah. I just want to say a word of prayer, amen, for you, God. I thank you right now for brothers and sisters who are listening, God, not just locally, God, but globally. I thank you, God, that where this word meets them, hallelujah, you're meeting them right where they are, God, at the right time, in the right space in their life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you draw us into relationship. You draw us closer, and you remind us how much you love us. Thank you, You remind us, amen. Father, you have reminded us in your word that you sent Jesus Christ in the midst of of darkness to prove your love. <laughs> hallelujah. You sent Jesus Christ in, 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 in challenging times. Hallelujah. Just, just to show how much you love us. Thank you. So we thank you for your manifestation of love through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your wonderful gifts. And we thank you, Lord, that you're not done with us yet. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. <laughs> hallelujah for our gift. Eternal gift yes. of joy. Hallelujah. This we pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. We just pray that the word of God uh, bless you. Glory be to God and encouraged you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. And motivated Hallelujah. you in his spirit in the season mm. to be reminded that he has given us joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, and then listen, this process where praise God able to sow seeds in joy. Amen. Mm. The word that there's the Lord Come loves on. a cheerful, cheerful giver. giver. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So just to remind you're able to sow your seeds, your cheerful yes. seeds of faith. Glory be to God. Uh, the ways are also there Amen. on the screen. Praise God for Cash App. Praise God for PayPal and for Givelify. Amen. The good old, the good wonderful way. Amen. Of Amen. mail. Amen. Glory Amen. be to God to mail it in. Uh, and just, <laughs> just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Yes. Thank you for, for, your uh, for your faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Family and friends, your faithfulness and support. Amen. Ministry, it is needed for ministry and ministry is happening. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. While the physical church may not be open to the public, ministry is happening every week. Literally. Amen. We're praying, <laughs> covering over at the, 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 the Good Samaritan, Samaritan feeding, feeding program. Yes, praise praise God. Us. Amen. For they, just keep them safe as they serve the community in their drive through feeding program. Amen. Amen. We just have two more. Uh, glory be to God this, this month. Hallelujah. So we're just praying, covering over them that I'll be blessed and safe. Uh, and that we would continue to do great work serving uh, the kingdom and being a blessing mm -hmm. uh, both locally, amen, and globally. Amen. amen. Well, praise God. We, we're going to thank God for the gifts, mm -hmm. you, Hallelujah. amen, you are the gifts. and the gifts that you give, amen. Hallelujah. And we're going to uh, believe God to do uh, his kingdom will uh, concerning it. So uh, we're going to just pray, amen. Father, right, we just thank you, Lord, for your love for us. Mm -hmm. We thank you, God, for how you love us enough to give yes. us instruction, hallelujah, of how it is that you help us partner with mm. you and the work that you do in the world, hallelujah. We thank you, God, for the privilege of, of being your sons and daughters who can sow seed hallelujah. and to indeed witness you producing harvest, God. And not only do you produce harvest, God, but you nourish us with the harvest, Abba. So today, I thank you for the seeds of faith that your sons and daughters are mm. so Going into good ground, into the kingdom. And we thank you, God, for the increase that you'll produce that will nourish God. Hallelujah. Not just this generation, but the generations to come. Not just these local communities, God, but the global community of Christ. Hallelujah, God. So thank you now, God. We put our gifts in your hands and recognize that you are he who gave them and you will do marvelous and miraculous things through them. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to share, some of you all may be hearing the Holy Spirit say, I want to do a special mm. uh, gift in the in this season uh, to bless the kingdom, amen, to bless the work of ministry, whether you're a member of Brown Chapel or a friend, mm -hmm. uh, and God has just put into our heart the ministry amen. of the 48100, 48, and the 148, what is that? Amen. Uh, just believe, we're believing for 48 persons mm -hmm. uh, to commit to give $100 a, a month. month. Glory be God. I, I really want to call it not just a, a campaign, but really a transformation, mm -hmm. a vision that God has for the work of ministry amen. at Brown Chapel. Amen. And not just that, amen. There are some folks who uh, don't want to necessarily do a, a monthly gift like that. They just want to give a, a just a, a one-time donation or to say, I want to do it all at one time. Praise be to God. We receive that with joy, amen. just knowing, amen, we're believing God for kingdom work. Hallelujah. Literally, literally. Uh, and growth and expansion and uh, in the ministry. And I love the way Pastor said the kingdom work, right? Not a building. That's amen. Right. This is That's not a, right. a building fund. Mm -hmm. It is it's, it's kingdom work, right? It's kingdom building. Uh, but it's not about a building. Because the truth is that we're not even in the building right mm -hmm. now. Praise the Lord. Uh, but we invite you, draw you uh, to partner with us as we walk in obedience uh, to the vision that God has given this amazing family uh, to build his kingdom. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We indeed embody uh, being a local uh, ministry with a global, uh, wait, no, a oh, global I'm ministry with a local church. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And so we're, we're believing God for that. Amen. And anytime you're motivated, you always can go to our website. Yeah. Uh, amen. Praise God for our wonderful uh, inter interactive website with information, uh, bcamecy.org. Uh, you just can give your gift through our website mm -hmm. and just make a note that it's for the 48100. Amen. 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 But God bless you. Hallelujah. God keep you. May his face shine yeah. upon you as the word blesses your life. Amen. And as he speaks, there will be life. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, Hallelujah. rejoice. Rejoice. Come on. Somebody go, go on and start singing joy to the word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the Lord indeed has come. Amen. Bless you. Look forward to seeing you uh, in the gathering right yes. after right after Come this on service. In. Rejoice Come on with in, us. rejoice with us, <laughs> pray with us uh, as we continue to grow together. Amen. We love you. Hallelujah. God bless you.
bless you, family. Bless you.